And now we're here with the lovely Ellen Rubel, who is a business owner who sells uh, Wedgwood. Is that correct? Wedgwood, yes. And can you tell us what that is? Yes, Wedgwood is um, English China dinnerware. Okay. And um, so what was your first job and how old were you at the time? My parents owned a patent medicine store and my first job was when I was about 10 years old. Um, I got to help out in the store and it was absolutely thrilling to me. And uh, that's lovely. What did you do at the store? Did you help with papers? or I helped with the, the afternoon newspapers. Um, they would come in and um, there was cubby holes where the neighbors would come up after the papers arrived and the papers were put away for them. Everybody had a cubby hole with their name on it. So I got to roll up the newspapers and fill the cubby holes. Did you get that job through your parents? I would assume because it's their store? Yes. All right. And so there were probably no transportation issues. No, uh, the house was right near the store, so I actually got to walk up there. there it was all sidewalks and it was safe. Um, I grew up in Stanford, so that's where the store was. Nice. And as a 10-year-old, was your first job anything like you would have imagined it to be? You know, I don't think at 10 you have much of an expectation of a job. Um, I certainly wouldn't have done anything else other than work for my parents when I was 10 years old. And I loved it because it meant spending time with my father. And I loved the face-to-face -face contact with the customers. It was a lot of fun. And learning to talk to people, would you say that helped you in your later careers? Absolutely, yes. So if you could use one word to describe your first job, what would, would that word be? It was exciting. Exciting. If you could do it all over, if you could go back and have any first job, would you choose that one again? I would. And are there any tips that you might want to give to people who might be looking for their first jobs? Yes, I would say be willing to listen to people who have been there and done that. People who have more experience than you. And take criticism constructively. Don't take it personally. Because whoever gives you um, tips and ideas about work is only trying to help you because they know better. That's true. That's great. Thank you very much for coming down. Oh, thank you for having Have me. Have a great day.